And that one video that you did for that second, the follow-up video, had ripple effects that yeah, you have like... to acknowledge is there. Because if it was on... No! No, what is this video? Yo! Yo! Mr. Mosby! Yo, silence. Silencio, stop. Stop talking. Stop talking. This has to be the worst host of all. Stop talking, bro. Like, Please, comments. Please, please, please talk some... I get banned? Wait, the video's private! The video's private! Took down the video! Yo, they just took down the video! Chat! Okay. Pink Sauce Lady. We've talked about the pink sauce lady like two or three different times and i thought like bro y'all go so ready i love the pink sauce lady or something bro i don't know why she keeps coming up i thought after the first time that was it bro but apparently the pink sauce lady went on a show or something i i don't know too much about it i'm actually just by i know uh i know critical just made a video about it but i just want to see the video for myself so this says chef p which is the pink sauce lady confronts online critic over viral pink sauce i ain't gonna hold you bro pre pre chef p making herself look like a, a idiot i ain't gonna capture you like i thought we was done with this bro but let's see what she's talking about let's see what she's talking about if not millions of people use social media as no a audio financial resource a way to support themselves which is great but one mistake on social media when running a business could cost you more than you think hmm. that's exactly what happened to my next guest y'all know pink sauce from tiktok right yeah, okay. So Chef P says her online business quickly went downhill when her social media followers and customers turned on her. I wonder why. I, I really wonder. Anybody have any guesses? Anybody in the chat? You there? Do you you have a guess? You do you have motherfucker? I like like come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. I I really actually am, am questioning why that that is the case. That's crazy. I don't know why. I don't know why that could be. I don't. I don't know why that could be. Quickly went downhill when her social media followers and customers turned on her. Everyone, welcome Chef Pete to the show. Somebody said attempt to this. Oh. Well, tell me about the pink sauce. What inspired that? This is the most. This is the most like oddball like cast i've ever seen in my life i'm not gonna lie like this is the most oddball cast I've ever seen in my life bro like like there are some very interesting characters in here bro first of all i just want to point out the characters that i find the most interesting um one we have blasphemous hd right here um we got we got precious right here my bad my bad she's probably a black queen she's probably a black queen we got uh uh, uh d savage you know what i'm saying we got my first grade teacher uh, you know what I'm saying? There's just some some very interesting characters that we have here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just just saying there's some very interesting characters here. Well, tell me about the pink sauce. What inspired that? Between the years of 2018 and 2020, I battled with anxiety, and I started using dragon fruit to build the levels of magnesium in my body. Mm -hmm. That's how I became fond of the coloring of the red dragon fruit, mm -hmm. and. The pink sauce was created. Okay, why do you think it went viral overnight? Because it's extremely unique, and everyone was super curious about it. So I everyone was super curious about it, bro. And you see what happened to everybody, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. The casualties are like over seven million in GTA. Obviously, I'm kidding, but no, like everybody was curious about it because it's fucking pink. I want to know this because first of all, I'm gonna give you give it up to you big time because if I ever hear of a black woman that is creating her own business, big up, okay? No, 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 no! Stop, 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 stop! Hold on, stop, stop, stop it! Look, shout out to her for starting her own business and stuff like that. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's not always the the easiest thing to do, but come on, bro, stop rewarding people. For like, come on, do not reward her for starting up a business where she basically is making poison sauce, bro. Has the sauce got better? I don't know. 
But stop rewarding people for the bare minimum of making like any. I could literally slap a BBG sticker on on a pillow and call it BBG pillows and start selling pillows, and then I would be a a a, a business owner, a black business owner. Like, bro, stop rewarding people for doing this bare minimum stuff, bro. She also like was was low key trying to poison people, but not intentionally. But like, come on, man, stop it. Yeah, like um you know, just special offers to our customers, um, letting them know, like, hey, we care. And you handled your business like yes. a boss. She was like, I made a mistake. I'm going to rectify it. Yes. Okay. Because I need to know, when did you start receiving the backlash, and what was that backlash saying? Okay, so there was a young lady on social media. She took it as the moment to say, hey, this is my moment to become viral. And that is what happened. She became viral from posting that video. So this is someone who got one of your products yes. and saw that maybe if I post about this, I'm going to get attention for saying, hey, pink sauce is wrong, pink sauce is this. Yes. So kind of like that's how social media works. You made a bad product and you promoted it on TikTok. It blew up on TikTok. It's a bad product. People are going to respond to it. It's a trending topic, too. People are going to make videos on it. That's why Critical just made a video on it. That's why... Plugs, you're not touching this. I'm making a video on it. Like, I, I wonder why people would ever do that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it was so bad, even down to someone lying about their own death. I mean, it was just horrible. And my son. That, okay, that is crazy. Lying worse. about your own death, saying the pink sauce really clapped you, was crazy. I'm not going to lie. I walked in the door and just see my son laying on the floor, like, did my mom kill somebody? Oh my God. You know? And that was all in the backlash from people getting uh, online yes. saying things about you. Yes. So this one mistake of packaging with your pixel turned into people creating exaggerated stories about your product, about everything that's going on. Yes. Under 50 orders. And it just blew up with negativity. Yes. So I heard that because of the negative backlash in the comments, you went into financial ruins and you basically had to move out of your house? Well, Damn, no, that true? I moved out of my house for safety. Oh. Mm. Um, I was receiving threats. People were sending me my address. They were telling me that. Okay, see, and, and that, I'm not going to lie, sending her her address, that's doing way too much. I, I never co-sign that. I, I would never co-sign that. Damn, you would get it like get it on like that. That's, that's insane. I'm not going to lie. They were going to post it on social media. There were people Fox, calling me with like uh, random events, like calling me out of my name, racial slurs. Crazy so this stuff. is. So I ain't gonna lie, sis. You get used to it. You you you, you shouldn't, but you you get you get used to it. I ain't gonna lie. Like j welcome 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 to the internet. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Somebody who sent you an iMessage message saying that what these are your these are like your address, your telephone. This number, is insane, though. I yeah, never co-sign this. Yes. So what? they were like, oh, we can negotiate. This isn't, um, and then afterwards they were like, oh, this isn't blackmail. No, nah, that and literally like, is. Okay, it... So why are you sending my personal information? Yeah, I would say over 15 people. It did that. Yes. More than one, I'd have been scared, especially with a child. Yes. Can you imagine that? You doing a business online nah, and all of a sudden people are just That's happy. not funny, but that quite literally is the definition of blackmail. Like bro said, no, nah, this is not blackmail at all. I, I'm just telling you, here's all your information and we going to negotiate or else. By the way, it's not blackmail. I promise you, this it's not it's not blackmail. Like I know the feds watching, it's not. I, I would never blackmail. No, that's literally, that's quite literally blackmail. I'm not going to lie to you. That's why I said they start to threaten you? Yes. Wow. Yeah. It's... That is horrible. So even with that, why are you so passionate about the pink sauce? Because it's me, mm -hmm. it's my legacy. Um, I'm literally uh, the foundation for my children, for everyone around me, for growth. And, you know, I'm raising two young men. And this simple mistake, like, I tell them, making a mistake sometimes can be, you know, detrimental. Mm -hmm. um, or it can impact you tremendously. And I okay. feel like I ain't gonna lie, Chad. I don't know if it's just me. They kind of got me feeling bad for sis. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like she did just like even though it was a bad mistake, she did. It is just a mistake at the end of the day. And people is kind of taking it too far. Like I didn't think I was going to start feeling bad for her. I'm not gonna hold you. That, okay, so some fake tears definitely about to come out. I didn't think I was going to feel a little bit bad, but I definitely feel kind of bad for her. Like on, in terms of the blackmail or anything like that. If this is facts, then that they shouldn't be doing that. I'm not gonna hold you, but continue. Like, 
I'm leading an inspiration to them. They just try to guilt trip you. You can do whatever you want to do. You know, you put your mind to that and you do that. What's making you emotional? Um. Oh, Lord. Oh, I guess God. just releasing everything that I'm saying. Um, and, you know, I was a teen mom. My kids are like my best friends. Uh, everyone in the world thinks I'm a horrible person. Uh, I created this sauce for fun and food. <laughs> Yo, I created this sauce for fun is crazy. That's a, that is a crazy. I don't know. I don't think y'all understand how crazy that that's. Yo, Tim said, wah, wah. I don't know. Under, I don't think y'all understand how crazy that starter sentence is. I created that sauce for fun, even before food, for fun. That's a crazy starter set to Tobacco Hoji. Um, I'm not going to say nothing about her crying because I'm going I'm to get canceled for not supporting uh, women in, in time of need. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I really do feel bad on the fact that she's getting blackmailed and everything like that, like wholeheartedly. But um, I mean, What I appreciate about your vulnerability with these tears right now is that I know that we're talking about pink sauce and this is fun and things of that. But this is what I mean when I say social media has these negative effects on us that sometimes we don't even realize. Right. You start talking about people posting these things and it's like in the moment you're like, oh, this is crazy or whatever. But after a while, that affects your psyche. Yes. That affects your soul. Yes. All right, when we get back, we're going to talk to one of your customers and fellow TikTok influencers, mm -hmm. Allie. I think she's one of the people that you said kept on with the harassment, right? Yes. Well, we got to hear more about that when we come back. Okay, it's been, it's been two months, bro. It's been like two or three months. If you're still DMing her, talking about some, yo, why'd you make the pink sauce? Okay, I'm not going to hoot you. It's just me writing at this point. I ain't going to hoot you. But, like, people making informational videos on it and stuff like that is not really doing nothing like that. But if you're avidly harassing her right to this day, you're, like, it's, it's, it's a different type of me writing. I'm not going to lie to you. So here's my bottle. I'm just a little worried about it being swollen. They I don't know if this they is... They're going to put you on the big screen? Yo, chat, imagine when they come back from commercial break, you just see me. Yo. That pink sauce shit not cool, bro. You fucking suck. Like, imagine I, I, I'm on that big screen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Johnny 2005. Thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate you. Remember, chat. If you're new in the chat, um, if you have a crown next to your name, that means you have a prime sub. That means you have a free sub. That means no ads. So uh, make sure you use that prime sub if you have it. Appreciate you. Check the seal. Everything's good on that. Um, sweet ranch. The aftertaste. I'm not messing with. It's like watered down oh, ranch. Is this, is this it's lady. not bad. Definitely not worth twenty dollars a bottle. But we support small businesses. I don't know if she's fixing things or not. That's not my problem. Today, when I went to go open it, something is not right. The smell that's coming out of this bottle, something is wrong. It's rock. <laughs> Somebody said, so "Shut up, I you bought it." No, to be fair, I'm not gonna you. I can't even take this lady seriously, bro, because she really just bought this pink sauce over TikTok. Like, I can't take. I'm not gonna you. I really just can't take nobody seriously who actually purchased this. Aside from like content, content, not like TikTok videos where they're just testing it out, like content, content. And I opened it up, and I had to stick my finger inside of it, but there is a piece of glitter is it edible glitter am i going yeah. to die is it safe that's I would actually be so nasty interested though. to sending this to a food safety um testing lab and i think it's like 300 dollars. i'm willing to send this to be tested okay all right all right all right all right all right now i'm never gonna lie to y'all face but this is this is a, a, a like like get yeah, like you you this is a different type of meat writing so you pay 20 to get the sauce, you make a couple of TikToks on it. Now you are planning to spend three hundred dollars of your own money to get it tested. To like, okay, at this at this point, I understand that the shit is obviously chemical X, and I'm not in no way am I trying to really defend this lady, bro. But this is a different type of like you you kind of trying too hard. It's like it, it's getting to the point where meat riding is is, is kind of getting above the the pay grade. She swear she uh, humanitarian. This is definitely cloud chasing. I'm not going with you. Three hundred. All right, everyone, please welcome Allie to the show. Hi. Right. Oh, she's there. There, she's actually there. Oh, yo, yo. Guys, they need to take a seat. All right, so this is the first time you two have ever met each other, right? Correct. Okay, then. And you're both influencers, obviously, on TikTok. 
Now, before we go any further, I do have to ask this, Allie, because my producers did tell me that the reason that we had to separate the couches is because you didn't feel comfortable in sitting next to Chef. Why don't you be? Why don't you feel comfortable sitting next to a, a, a black woman? What's, why don't you feel comfortable? What, what's, why, what, why don't you feel comfortable? Like you know, what I'm saying that's kind of what we want to see. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I'm about to who you like, bro. And these, what you talking about? Cut like the space between the couches, little ass couch, bro, little ass space, bro. Like what are you talking about? Oh, the space between the couches. These motherfuckers are like a centimeter away from each other, bro. Like what are you talking about? And you're both influencers, obviously, on TikTok. Now, before we go any further, I do have to ask this, Allie, because my producers did tell me that the reason that we had to separate the couches yes, you're is because you didn't feel comfortable in sitting next to Chef Pete. Yeah, Why is I just, that? I feel like I haven't met her yet, and just kind of the last line of her saying that I harassed her just didn't make me, un made me uncomfortable because I never set out to harass anybody. And okay. I think that's like a little bit delusional to say something like that. So fight, 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 fight. Tell me from your perspective, she says that, she says, Shut that up, she didn't harass you. I think it's delusional to send a sample to a laboratory after you stuck your finger in it. Yeah. Okay, so Ooh, I think it's delusional that this motherfucker paid three hundred dollars to send that shit. I also think it's delusional that you're wearing that pink ass blazer and it's definitely ninety de degrees outside. I know that's to be fact, so you know you can do that what you will, but it's very there's some delusions going on here. So let's talk about this because we don't have these details, and I need to know this. So. When you taste the chef piece sauce, you did the viral video, which yep. everyone does those. People did their taste test, yep. but you then went further. Yep. Tell me what you then did. So I saw it and I was like, wow, this is such a cool sauce. It's bright pink, like I'm a sauce girl. So when I was doing the review, there was just so many red flags that I saw in it. Like the label, you know, when you make a USDA label, you have to put in batch numbers because if something were to be recalled, hmm. you have to be able to trace it down to the salt and which pepper is true. that is in something. That's fact. And so if something- oh, wait, not to cut, not to cut- You literally cut her off though. Cut you off, but to cut you off. So you didn't see the video because you follow me, right? Well, I wanna hear Ali. I'm yeah, give absolutely. You, you had your time okay. to talk, so just let me have mine. Um, so I understand, like, if it does have dairy in it, you see all these concerns. You saw my TikTok. I follow you. You have my address, my phone number, my email. If once I posted my original video, if you wanted to make things right, as a business owner, when you create a product, that's your pride and joy. You send it off to someone, they don't like it. You're like, oh my gosh, like, that's my pride and so joy. Let me that fix you it. Weren't contacted by no, Chef and, and the thing is, if you knew I had a problem with it, you could have contacted me and I could have turned around. And I'm not a hate person I could have been like wow chef P contacted so me. So you're saying that you contacted me. No I'm saying you I didn't never contacted received, me. Okay but why would I contact someone who's fabricating something on the but internet? Nothing I mean if we're keeping it stacked though she's not technically fabricating it there was glitter spice and nothing nice in the sauce so is she really fabricating it bro like come on like like let, let's let's keep it a stack here bro like Unless she placed the glitter in there, and there's proven is a proven fact that she placed the glitter in there. Why? Like, what are you what are you talking about? I'm com I'm confused. What did she fabricate? I'm 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 confused. Okay, but why would I contact someone who's fabricating something on the but internet? But nothing you're, was fabricated. To be honest, you're not. Yo, special. back. Oh. You're not special. Mm. Okay. okay. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Yeah. Lose my mind and approach you directly when you're fabricating something on the internet well, so I, will, I will say this because i want to hear both of your sides i will say this as chef p as a businesswoman no matter what someone reviews your products unfortunately everyone is special to you because that's going to be your business i could have you know taken down the video and done my testing and kept it to myself which i did no you could have reached out to me like hey girl no stop 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 yo Yo, Pink Sauce Lady, I want you to understand something. I want you to make sure that you really understand this right. You cannot, first of all, you can't control what nobody does, but you cannot put out a product in the public eye and then expect people to review it. And then when there's something wrong with the product, for them to like privately message you telling you, yo, the Pink Sauce had da 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 How are you as a business owner going to tell people how they should review your product you basically tell her that oh you should have you could have just came to me no you are a business owner right so if i get some airpods and they blow up in gta the next day i can make a public video showing y'all the airpods in question and apple can't come to me being like yo you could have just dm me bro you really could have just you really could have just said what's good like am I dm's open like you really like that's the dumbest shit i've heard all day bro i'm not gonna hold you like come on just got here what's happening
uh, Pink Sauce Lady versus Lady Who crit Criticized Pink Sauce Lady? To myself, which I did. No, you could have reached out to me like, hey, girl, you know what? I see what you're doing, it's amazing and all. I'm a supporter, but I think you should look into this. Take this step. Did you research nah. this? Did you check Yo, no, clap. Yo, no, 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 no. Why are y'all clapping? Oh my God. Why versus that? trying to tear down my business and my livelihood. You I, could have contacted me directly, can, just can like you, can you receive I, I, that? Yeah, and you I, keep saying that I should have reached out to you, but in, and also, and I'm gonna touch your hand when I say this. When I said that you're not special, I meant that. <laughs> Hit him with a left. Hit him with a right. I'm gonna knock who I go with you. Me personally, though, it's just me being me, the type of person that I am. I would never let her grab my hand, touch me like that, and just reassure me that I'm not special, bro. Like, you, she really disrespected you type shit. And me personally, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. The fighting words to me. So I, I, I don't think you should let her talk to you like that, bro. She's calling you a whole bitch. Not even half. Not even a quarter. She's calling you a whole bitch, bro. That's tough. Crazy. Like, I'll never let her say that to me. Yes. You're not special as far as someone trying to hurt me. So I didn't take it as a direct insult because I know the industry and I know how people use different topics to build their platforms. That's all I'm saying. Chefy, I'm using this topic to build my platform. Now what? What are you, what are you, gonna, what are you gonna say? That I'm hating on your product, I am. What else are you gonna say? What else are you gonna say? I should have just DM'd you first if I had a problem with it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. I, I I don't think you should be receiving death threats, but I'm just, it's, just, it's just simply not going to happen. Stop telling the consumer how to react to your product, bro. How about that? How how about you you make your product correct so the consumers don't even have to react like that? How about how about that? Let's do that first before you worry about what anybody else is doing. Why don't you worry about your product first before you worry about what anybody else has to say about it? Come on. Fix to build their platforms. That's all I'm saying. And I, think, I forgive you. I think at the end of the day, I think at the end of the day. She don't need your forgiveness. I forgive you. My mother, she should be forgiving you. I mean, you should be forgiving her. Wait. Whichever one. Y'all know one of them is correct. I don't know. Y'all know I'm not that bright. But, bro, come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You better watch out, Ryan. She, she, for she slide on you. Like, come on, bro. I think this is a moment of reflection. Absolutely, and I think it's a mo moment of learning on both parts. I think the learning is okay. more on your part. Thank you, yes. okay. And that's being real. And then being, this is being real here. Because I literally, the thing is the matter of that she is, her business, her, her livelihood, her safety is being affected now. And okay. But I'm, I'm uh, yo, this is really getting me frustrated. I'm not gonna hold you. This is the first time watching the stream. You lucky that I'm only pausing this many times. Cause I would have paused like 50 more times if this was any other video. Bro. Chat, I ain't gonna lie. If I say something controversial and then like y'all all come at me because I said something controversial and then as a bypass, I get harassed for it. Say, say, uh, dream, say dream. You didn't like something I said and you stay, you make a video saying that you didn't like something that I said, uh, like harassing people for it is never the right thing to do, but it's not like you're sending people to harass me. And it's not like you just, she just reviewed the product put it on social media, tested it, and then just wasn't on Tommen. She didn't be like, yo, everybody go do this. Go, go, go do this. Like, you cannot blame somebody for, like, doing that. I just don't understand. Like, this is, he can't be real people, bro. Like, come on. She from the Bronx where I don't do that. She was a lot of you, but like, pure false. <laughs> and these oh are things God. that we don't think about. Mm -hmm. This moment is for you to realize that your power is really in what you're saying and what you're doing. And that one video that you did for that second, the follow-up video, had ripple effects that yeah, you have like... to acknowledge is there. Because if it was on- No, no, what is this video? Yo, yo, Mr. Mosby, yo, silent, silencio, stop, stop talking, stop talking. This has to be the worst host of all, stop talking, bro. Like, come on. Follow-up video had ripple effects that you have to acknowledge is there. Because if it was on the other foot, you'd be sitting here upset. No, she wouldn't. No, she, what am I watching? What am I watching right now? What are you talking to? I'm mad. 
if you had to move every week because you and your child were in danger. Absolutely. So uh, this is the That's her fault? Say, you know what? Next time, Don't I apologize. will take this step. Before I post something, I'm going to do my research. Before I do something, I'm going to reach out to her. Before I do something, I'm really going to realize She's not moving every week. It's really my responsibility. Your responsibility is to build each other up as women. All right. Listen, never forget that social media can unconsciously or consciously lead to the demise of your relationships. You must pay close attention because you could invite trouble into your home every time you open your phone. So don't forget. Yes, that is the negatives of social media. That anything that you say online will be looked back and it's a possibility that can negatively affect your life. It can possibly affect your life too. But you are literally giving this pink sauce lady the benefit of the doubt because this one lady out of like millions of people made videos or talked negatively on her product. So it is solely this lady's fault because she is a woman and she went to lengths to, now again, $300 to go get a, get a test is absolutely ridiculous. I already said that. But like you just like this like this has to be the most biased host of all time. Marco, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Get to come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. Love. Worst talk show host I've ever seen in my life. Hold on. Where you go? No, no. Hold on. Can I can I dislike this? What are you talking about, bro? I'm like that is why I've never heard of this talk show because he's actually spitting straight bullshittery. He's not spitting facts. And I, I I better not see the comments talking about some, oh, well, he's right. Like, she invited so much negativity in her life as if that was her intentions. And that's like, she like intentionally, like really was like, yo, do this, do this, yo. My 500K audience, do like, stop it, stop it. Let me see. Please comments, please, please, please talk some I get banned? Wait, the video's private? The video's private? No, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Is that my Wi-Fi or is the video actually private? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. There's no way the video is actually private. Hold on. Pink sauce lady talk show. There's no way he took down the video. They took down the video. Yo, they just took down the video. Whoa, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. That scared me. I'm not going to hold you. Yo. They took down the video. <laughs> well, the way Blue Rock just got this much power out, B. We see in the video. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. Plugs don't touch that. Um, to the talk show host, I'm using this in a creative way and I'm using it um in transformative content. So don't be trying to strike me, bro, because I ain't gonna hold you, bro. My, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't trying to do all that. This is all in GTA. This is all allegedly. That was probably... I didn't even get a chance to w look at the comments chat. No way she saw how the video looked and, and look. This is the this is one video I wish I had to uh, could see the dislike to like ratio, bro. Now you definitely next. Like, bro, that's crazy, y'all. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. The, no, the pink sauce lady, I agree with her, like, in, in getting targeted and everything like that. She doesn't deserve it, and I'm never gonna say that somebody deserves that. But, like, that was just utter nonsense that's been uttered out from her, her mouth. I'm not gonna hold you. That talk show host is just as bad. He's spitting utter nonsense. I ain't gonna lie. That's exactly why the video is taken down, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, man, that was a good video. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, plugs, don't touch that. I B B G. I. Put the beats back like I'm double heaven. Hold up, triple deuces. Put the beats up, we got all the juices. Hold up, speak to heaven. Eat that by my mama, demon made it. Me body chill, least I want by.